Okay, so um, next we will discuss the mole concept. Okay, so mole concept is the counting unit used by chemists to indicate the number of um, atoms, ions, molecules, or formula unit present in a chemical reaction. So this should be the same with um, if you have length, you are using meter. If you have mass, you are using grams. And if you have volume, you are using liter to as a unit to represent the um, value of those um, variables such as length, mass, and volume. So mole will discuss the amount amount of the matter. So it's the concept of mole, and we have this so-called Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number describes the exact number of particles. So uh, these particles could be atoms, could be molecules, or it could be ions, or it could even be an electron. So what does it say is that for every mole of any substances, the amount of particles will be exactly equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23. For example, if you have one mole of water, you will expect the number of molecules of water in one mole of water will be equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23. So, that is a very large number and it makes sense because um, molecules are, are very small particles. Okay? So, if you have one mole of argon, there will be 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 atoms of argon. Okay? So, as you can see, we are using the appropriate um, units, formula units. So, if you are talking with H2O, since H2O is a compound, you will be using molecules. So, if argon, since it is an element, so we will be describing this as atoms. And sodium positive okay so since sodium positive we are using ions and in one mole of sodium positive ion there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 sodium ions okay so let's have an example how many particles present in two moles of co2 so you have this two moles of co2 so first step Using dimensional analysis, write the given 2 moles of CO2. So, multiply by um, for every 1 mole of CO2, there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules of CO2. So, multiplying the 2, the answer will be one point two oh four times ten raised to twenty four molecules. So the unit will be molecules of CO two since we will be canceling these units. Okay. So let's have another example. So if you have 3 moles of Cl, Cl minus, green ion, an ion, so that using dimensional analysis, we will be placing here 1 mole of Cl minus, and at the top part is the desired unit, which is the number of ions. Okay, so which is 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 ions of Cl. For every one mole of Cl. So cancel similar units. So proceeding to the operation, the answer will be 1.806 times 10 raised to 24 ions of chlorine and ion. Okay? And lastly, so if you have 10 moles of sulfur. So, for every 1 mole of sulfur, there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 atoms of sulfur. 
cancel similar units. So, the answer will be 6.02 times 10 raised to 24 atoms of sulfur. So, that is how we get the um, number of particles. So, for instance, that we are given the number of particles instead of number of moles and for let's say we are given the number of particles and we would like to identify the amount of that particle in the unit of mole so that would be an easy um, method because we already knew how to perform dimensional analysis okay so let's say um, i have um, 1.9 times 10 raised to 15 molecules of carbon dioxide okay so this will be 1.9 times 10 raised to 15 molecules of co2 so multiply by since our desired unit is the number of moles which is the amount of matter one mole of co2 and for every one mole of co2 there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules of co2 so we will be canceling similar units the remaining will be moles so that will be the uh, final unit so 1.9 times 10 raised to 15 so 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 so the answer will be 3.16 times 10 raised to negative 9 moles so that will be the amount of carbon dioxide in uh, if there are 1.9 times 10 raised to 15 molecules